boys and girls and welcome back to Kids TV for Bounce and Jump. My name's Sonia and it's so good to be with you again this week. Have any of you had a birthday recently or have you got a birthday coming up? Did you get a card? I hope you did. I hope you got more than one card. Did you have a birthday cake with candles on it? Maybe you had two candles because it was your second birthday. Maybe you had three candles on your birthday cake or maybe you had four candles i'm not going to go any higher than this because it might get a little bit dangerous but you have your birthday cake everyone sings and then you blow out the candles You're gonna blow with me <sighs> well i love birthdays and today it's not my birthday and it's nobody i know's birthday but maybe it's some of yours do you know that Kerith Church has a birthday? It's not today, but if Kerith was going to have a big birthday cake, there would be about 141 candles on its birthday cake because it's that long since the birth, the start of Kerith Community Church. And did you know even more than that, that the church in the whole wide world, which we're just a tiny part of, would have even more candles, even more, so many, I'm definitely not going to light all of those. Over 2,000 years ago, this church began. That's a lot of candles on a birthday cake. Well, the early, early church, the birth of the church happened over 2,000 years ago. And I'm going to read you a little bit about that time. In Acts chapter 2, it talks about the beginning of the church and it says this. The disciples were doing many miracles and signs and everyone felt great respect for God. All the believers stayed together. They shared everything. They sold their land and the things they owned. Then they divided the money and gave it to those people who needed it most. The believers met together in the temple every day. They all had the same purpose. They broke bread together in their homes, happy to share their food with joyful hearts. They praised God and all the people liked them. More and more people were being saved every day. The Lord was adding those people to the group of believers. Wow, doesn't that sound amazing? But if you think about it, boys and girls, that sounds a little bit like church now. We share together. We know that we love God. We all come together because we love God and we want other people to know and love God. We bring what we have. We bring sometimes our pennies, our money. We might bring our time. We might bring the special talents that God has given us. We bring our kindness and we share it with others at church. Because God wants us to love and share and serve people at church really well. Now, boys and girls, when you're younger and you've only got two or three candles on your birthday cake, it might seem hard sometimes to know, well, how can I, when I'm only three years old, how can I serve and love my church? really really well just like God would want me to serve and love those people around me but there's lots of ways you can do that it talks about sharing in that passage we read we can share when we're in kids church we can share our toys with other people we can share our smiles do you know what seeing someone and giving them a big smile or saying something kind to them showing them love it's such a great thing and it makes someone's day go from a little bit okay to really, really great day. Can you think of some other ways that you could serve and love people well? Maybe you could draw a picture and ask your grown-up if they would be able to give it to somebody who isn't very well, perhaps, from your church. You could maybe say some prayers and ask God to bless and be close to people who are poorly or sad or lonely. 
You see, it's never too young to start thinking about how well we can love other people around us. Boys and girls, thank you for listening this week. I'm sorry I didn't have over 2,000 candles with me. It's not the church's birthday today, but we can be thinking about how we can love all of those around us and serve other people well. Because we want to be closer connected to others because we want them to be closer connected to God. I hope you have a really great week and we'll see you next time for Kids TV. Bye!